This is the story of the Indian diaspora in France, which has many hues. In mainland France, it is about one lakh strong, 20,000 of them Indian passport holders. Many of them are students and professionals. But in the glittering French overseas territories, Guadeloupe and Martinique in the Caribbean Sea, and Reunion in the Indian Ocean, the Indian diaspora is more substantial and their history different. As is the story of the French in India. All of them in their own way are making a difference. In the south of France, the beautiful Chateau Gamage is a 200-year-old winery inheritance. Wines were produced here at the property. It was a challenging experience to keep the property in the hands of women, especially being Indian. And we continue this ancient tradition of winemaking here at Chateau Gamage. Another unusual business. Film collaborations between France and India which are fast becoming an important source of business for the economy. For any question related to film and TV production, we are Indian producers' best friends. Far away in the French overseas territory of Reunion, Sanjay Odaji is the best friend of those interested in the finer things of life. They are much more focused on the diamonds, on the jewelry. So it's a beauty fine. This effortless movement between the two nations has led to a constant exchange in arts, culture, people, politics, business and more. France is one of the largest investors in India. And for India, France is an important destination for investment. Giardi Tata was from a French mother and is now buried in the cimetière Le Père Lachaise in Paris. Space civil nuclear energy, defense, uh, France is among our major partners. Il y a 150 ans, les premiers Indiens sont arrivés à La Réunion. Far away in the French overseas territory of Guadeloupe, amongst the indentured laborers who landed on the coast was a lawyer and politician, Henry Sidambaram, who defended workers and demanded French citizenship for Indians there and became known as the Gandhi of Guadeloupe. The French had left a significant part of their roots in India during the period of colonization. I'm very proud and happy to be here in India, you know, after these 40 years. But 40 years before the liberation of Pondicherry, now known as Puducherry, Indians fought in the Battle of Neuve Chapelle during the First World War. The contribution of India was during the First War. It was really important. More than 10,000 soldiers died in France. But India and France also contributed to a spirit of peace together. Mira Alfasa, fondly known as the mother, founded Oroville as part of the Sri Aurobindo Society. I am French by birth and early education. I am Indian by choice and predilection. And lying deep in the history of India in France is the Ramakrishna Mission in Gretz, founded by Swami Vivekananda. We have a man's university. It is a kind of uh, approach to the ancient Indian traditional education system called Gurukula. Apart from spiritual teaching, many other aspects of Indian culture are absorbed into the French mainstream through the Indian diaspora. Vivek Pal Singh is the first Sikh to be elected to political office in France. We've been elected since April 
um, in the new city here in Kondeshwari as a new uh, party and I have started bringing in my little contribution whatever India taught me. Anil Abhimanyu Sharma has made an exciting journey from a photographer in India to a leading epicurist in France. I try to show only the simple uh, recipes because we have only three hours in which I would like to share India with them, I would like to share cuisine with them and I would like to share the health aspect which is three totally different things. Catering to the popular interest in French cuisine is Pinakin Desai who has opened a chain of successful coffee shops in Paris. France is direct bank is ready to And the finance a different place, a different spirit, as cricket takes its tentative steps in France. We have lots of tra uh, translations, all the uh, words that we use in cricket. And for example, the stems, we call it as guichet in French. This is how we are also promoting, on behalf of France cricket, we are promoting the game. Like professional cricket, the ethos of the present Indian diaspora in France is also professional and offers a window to higher education and opportunity in France to young people from India. My first visit that I made officially on behalf of ESCP was to IIM Ahmedabad. Since then, we have now official collaboration with seven business schools in India. Philippe Advani exemplifies the new professional of Indian origin in France, literally flying sky high. Airbus has established a tremendous relationship of confidence as far as commercial aircraft is concerned. And I think now it's a trusted partner of India. On the defense side, on the space side, helicopter side. So I think uh, this is uh, a real area of development for the relations. The complex contours of the ancient connection between France and India has interesting manifestations. From a rediscovery of identity, the journey of the Indian diaspora in France has taken many turns as it continues to reinvent itself. L'Inde, pour moi, bah, c'est le pays de maman. Donc, sachant qu'elle a été euh, adoptée, soi-disant, par euh, mes grands-parents. Si... Pourquoi soi-disant Non, non, elle a été adoptée <rire> par mes grands-parents. Et donc, euh, c'est un pays que, ouais, j'aimerais bien aller voir. I was born and brought up in South India and grew up here all my life and have lived in India all my life. Never lived in France. Both my parents are French. So I grew up speaking French at home. I always say that my skin is white, my heart is brown. I can't deny that there's a lot of French in me. I think there's a great bond between France and India which will come to the fore one day. I am attached to my Indian nationality. At the same time, I feel very French. Uh, I belong to this society and yet I don't belong to it. So where I'm an insider, but I'm also an outsider. And I love that feeling of being inside and outside at the same time. No, dia, do, dia. No. Ni le mal, tout ça me 